please subscribe and ring the bell button to be always notified whenever we upload more interesting videos. Greek Tombstone from around 100 BC A theory claims it is proof a time traveler took a portable computer back to when the marble relief was sculpted in 100 BC. The 37-inch statue, called Grave Nyskos of an enthroned woman with an attendant, is on display at the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California. It was used as a funeral marker and depicts a woman sitting on an armchair as a slave girl holds open a thin folding box. The mistress touches the lid and gazes at the upper section, which some online believe is the screen of a laptop. Along the side are two holes said to resemble USB ports or other cable inputs. The base is too shallow to be a jewelry box. The explanation is more down to earth, experts say. A historian's gallery description of the sculpture says it shows the woman whose grave it marked looking into a shallow chest. It was a common theme in funerary art at the time, expressing the hope loved ones would enjoy the same earthly pleasures in the afterlife. The object could also be a pair of wax tablets, which were used for writing. The holes in the side could have held wooden objects, which have since rotted away. Ferdinand George Waldmuller's painting, titled The Expected One. The pretty painting shows a young woman walking through the idyllic countryside, clutching something that looks suspiciously like a smartphone. Her gaze is glued to the object in her hands, while a love-struck lad can be seen waiting to hand her a pink flower. Despite the lack of technology in 1860, eagle-eyed art enthusiasts claim the woman is strolling while scrolling an iPhone. But art critics have rubbished the suggestion insisting there is a simple explanation behind it. The woman is said to be reading a prayer book while walking through the countryside rather than browsing social media. Walt Muller's incredible work is now housed in a Munich museum, the Neue Pinakothek, where the halls are lined with paintings dating back to the 18th and 19th century. 1930s mural of a scene from 17th century colonial America. The 1937 painting by Umberto Romano is called Mr. Pynchon and the Settling of Springfield. It shows the English colonist and fur trader William Pynchon, best known for founding the city of Springfield, Massachusetts, in 1636. He is depicted trading with the Native Americans who lived in the area. If you look closely, you can spot one of the men staring at a mystery rectangular object in his right hand. It appears strikingly similar to how people in the 21st century hold a smartphone and scroll down with their thumbs. The mural one of six at Springfield Main Post Office has not been altered since it was painted in 1937. Some sleuths online have offered this mural as proof that time travelers have taken modern technology back to the past. Others, however, say the object could be a mirror, a commonly traded item in 17th century New England. 350-year-old painting by Dutch painter Peter de Hooch. The rumors started after Apple boss Tim Cook claimed he had noticed a device in a piece of artwork during a visit to a museum in Amsterdam in 2016. In the artwork, a man can be seen clutching a rectangular object, while a woman, child and dog all take a look at it. A day later, Cook hosted a press conference with former European commissioner Neely Kroos where the pair discussed the famous painting. Last night Neely took me over to look at some Rembrandt and in one of the paintings I was so shocked. There was an iPhone in one of the paintings. Crows showed a picture of the painting of the artwork to the audience which at first appeared blurry. It's tough to see but I swear it's there, Cook said. He added that the letter the woman was holding resembled the Apple device, which was first released in 2007. I always thought I knew when the iPhone was invented, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Picture of the 1962 World Cup Final Celebrations 
The historical image of Brazil's Captain Mauro Ramos, triumphantly raising the trophy in Chile, has more than meets the eye. As well as being remembered as an eventful day on the pitch, the final has now ignited a bizarre debate after appearing to have been infiltrated by a fan from the future. If you look closely at the gaggle of reporters and photographers, trying to get close to Ramos you may spot something that doesn't quite fit in. Directly in front of the center back, a person's arm can be seen wielding a recording device that looks suspiciously like a flip phone. And the strange object even caught the eye of the victorious Brazilian, who appears to be staring right at it. Despite the legendary flip phone not being on the market for another three decades, this futuristic football fan seems to be years ahead of the rest of the crowd. However, there is a simple explanation for the supposedly time-traveling spectator appearing to capture the moment on a flip phone. The person is actually holding a box camera rather than the mobile device made famous by Motorola. Due to the angle it is being held at and the fact the photographer is only using one hand, it extraordinarily resembles a flip phone. Old clip of Mike Tyson fighting Peter McNeely. The clip from 1995 shows the pair squaring up to each other, but it is a member of the audience that caught their eye. One spectator in the crowd appears to be snapping photos on what looks like an iPhone years before the device debuted. Stunned social media users say the handheld item looks suspiciously like a camera phone, even though the first one was not released until 2000. Although camera phones didn't hit the market until five years later, a number of handheld cameras were available. These included the Casio QV-10A, the Casio QV-100 and the Logitech Photoman, which looked similar to the device held by the spectator. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.